Hello and welcome to the Receible Top and today I bring a battle report a song of ice and fire Greyjoy versus Martell. Um I am pretty much uh, a noob in a song of ice and fire and I'm trying to learn the game and today I will not play myself. I will watch a game um that my friends played and I tried to understand what they're doing. So maybe the series will be called um, How to Learn a Song of Ice and Fire. And it's a great game. Right now I'm playing too many systems. Um, but yeah, we'll get there. So let's get to, to this one. So on this day, it was a Tuesday um my friend alex uh, who plays the great joy um wanted to squeeze in two games um he wanted to play first myself with my targaryens um and he wanted to field a neutral army and i was bringing the mother of dragons and some dothraki screamers as you can see here and it's a beautiful game but I just I, I played too little of the game yet to tell you really what it's all about. But um, in this battle report, we'll realize that you can play it very competitively, and I don't know, maybe maybe you can play it also for fun and and just for the fluff. We'll see about that. But yeah, just showing you my army. So um, I'm trying to paint it up. I got the Mother of Dragons and I got the Blood Riders. And I was planning to play the list with Screamers, Blood Riders um, and the Dragon. And I don't know what these are, but I think these are Bravos, War Dancers or something like this. But something happened and my friend Alex couldn't really make it on time and um he was setting up um the table but he, he already had uh, an appointment with my friend here who plays martel and so i said you two play and i'll watch the game um and during this game i will also show you what's going on in our local uh, game shop what the people are playing and so um i have no idea what the martels bring but they bring uh, the spearmen, they bring uh, the dervishes and some knights, I guess. And if you're new to this game, um, I think it's a pretty simple game. But the complexity of the game lies in what you do with the units, um, what you put inside the units, as you can see here. I think this, these are dune 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 something and there's a different figure in here and it's like in 40k if you put something new into a unit it alters the unit a bit not that it changes it completely but it alters it a tiny bit and makes it sometimes or most times stronger and um both haven't yet painted up their armies um i think these ones are these ones the knights i don't know uh, i think the other ones but yeah some of uh, the knights are eight points and pretty strong unit um and martel is um a faction um that that kind of plays with the enemy um it's not that you get stronger um it is more you put so many debuffs on the opponent and um you put him in so much hard situations and he always have to choose um what he will do and you try to come uh, on top of that so you have movement shenanigans and you can also debuff the enemy and yeah right here i think these guys are pretty strong they can they can put out a ton out of shots um and here are the reavers um everybody's fan favorite and here ironborn um bowman and i don't know what the units are called right now i will learn as i play the game but i think these ones are the iron makers um, i think they have good armor usually in this army nothing has armor or just like very light armor um, these guys are fast and hit like a truck 
they um, are Vikings and these ones are a very tough and tanky units. They can go to a um, 2 plus uh, armor save, I guess, with this guy. And I don't know who these are, but yeah, everything is Viking. And what is not that cannot die? Wait, what? We don't sow. And then uh, what is that may never die? Yeah, that's that's what they say. Um, and these guys, I love these guys. Like um, nothing special about them, but just some solid um, base units who put out tons of shots. And that's great. So uh, simple game, but, and th there's the but, like uh, as you can see, this pile of cards, um, every faction has um, seven iconic cards or faction cards. Um, the Martels have seven, the Targaryens have seven, and you double them and you get 14. So um, those seven cards, you got, you have every card of them as double, and then you bring um, a leader or a warlord, and um, you put in four more, or is that for Targaryen? And you got a stack of 20 cards. And those cards will support you in combat. And the non-NCUs, the non-combat units, will also support you on the combat board. And that is very important. Here you can see the beautiful Martell dies beautifully. I love the I love the um, starter boxes. It comes usually with I would say four to five units and everything you need for the game. It comes with, well, it doesn't really have terrain, but it's okay. You don't need it for this game. Um, and you get the dice, you get um, the measurements, and yeah. So this is the deployment zone for um, the Martel player. Again, I have no idea what these units do, and I will learn them bit by bit, or maybe see what they do and then uh, learn them by play, but I know that one cavalry is just like for scouting and baiting. One is like really strong. I would say it's this one. Um, oh, although those have lances, and um, these are these are the base troopers with the lances, and these ones are a bit elite, elite, and these are the sand dune vipers, I guess, um, and they're really great. Um, they have a tons of shots, uh, short bows, only six inch range, but you can you can shift and then shoot and then with this guy they got a shot more and then they got precision and it really really hurts. And the iron, the the great joy player, uh, again don't know really what these do. This is the setup, and both players, both of my friends, um, I have the feeling they play at a very very high level. So nothing for a noob really to um, comprehend. Um, and here there are some walls um, and here are mission markers in the middle. And every time you claim an objective, you must stand on it. Um, the opposing player can choose uh, to pick up an NCU, put it on the tactics board, not activate the ability from the tactic board, but shoot um, with... Um, the wall, some arrows um, on the opposing player, and that hurts. I don't know really how much. Um, I'm also showing you what's going on um, on the other tables. Um, of course, uh, 40k is getting played um, really popular as always, and I think these are the leaks of Votan, um, some GW, some 3D printed, and I just wanted to show that um, it's kind of amazing. Ju just looks really great sometimes, the game. Um, and then on the other table, they're playing Age of Sigmar. And um, of course, again, great, uh, great looking game, I want to say. Um, it probably, I haven't played since 2020. Um, and it looks really good. But um, I kind of I'm not very involved with with the fluff. I'm I'm kind of missing the high stakes, and um, I think that's why I love a song of ice and fire because the song the the song the stakes always the stakes that are here um, always 
feel very real. You might say, okay, that's not a great a big army because there was a friend um, of the Martel player and he plays um, Age of Sigmar and he said, okay, that's that's it. The, those are your armies. It just doesn't look um, doesn't look much, but um, a Song of Ice and Fire always manages to feel like a true battle. I mean, like a true battle, like a true slaughter, like a true meaningful battle. Every movement counts. And I don't want to say like these guys are playing very high level and competitive, but just just like every everybody matters. It's not that you can lose like 10 guys. It's like, um, I don't know. I don't want to also discourage you. It just It just feels different. It feels like... It feels like uh, the TV show or maybe even the books. I haven't read them, but it, it feels kind of like the TV show um, that you have like 50 guys raiding something and um, every shot counts, every man is valuable. And it makes this great game great. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. And well, what are they doing? Like in the in, and And that's also something um, in the beginning of the game, you're kind of setting up your movement. It's not just what you can see on the board. It's not, okay, this unit goes there, this unit goes there. It's what will happen on the tactics board. What cards are, uh, is he holding on the hand? Sometimes um, it is not um, the way it seems to be. And so in the first rounds, you really um, are starting to buff your units, to setting them up to uh, have some baits it's it's really interesting i think i haven't really seen this in other games i mean it kind of it kind of exists definitely i played them uh last week a bold action game but here it's like okay what are you setting up what will happen um and what's your positioning it's it's kind of cool so um yeah I don't know what these, these units do, but um, as you can see, they also get some tokens. So um, if they, I think that's not called vulnerable, they get weakened. So if they hit, um, the opposing player has put a token on them and he can um, take that token off and say, okay, you have to reroll your attack dice again. And I don't know what, what, what did hit the reverse. Um, we'll see. But something hit the reverse. Yeah, it, it was these. I think the, those, these are the sand dunes. So, as you can see here, they were set up here, and then they strike first, and they take massive casualties. But um, he did put a lot of stuff on this unit, and um. Yeah, Martel has the shenanigans, um, has the debuffs, has the movement or some shifts. And what Greyjoy has, it's, it hits like a truck. And as you can see here, and it heals like a mother lover. Um, that's what Greyjoy does. And those are like the, the undead of, um, yeah, a song of ice and fire. Not that these troops are undead. They're just they healed up. They got reinforcements, and they um, the line troops were almost beaten, and then they restore five wounds. And I think they will go in. And what will they do? We'll see. Yeah, they they yeah that that's what happens. Um, they got hit like a truck. Then they healed. Then they attacked, and I think they have an ability, or maybe this guy gives them the ability, um, like life leech, for each wound they make, they heal one. And I think they make two wounds, and they are they kill two ranks, and they heal up. I don't know. They get back to full life, and 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 that's really really powerful. Um, yeah. Again, these minis are not painted yet, or um, I have not the deepest understanding of the game yet, but somehow it's really fun. And you can also, as you can see, you shift here to the middle of the base. So if you have another troop, it could come in here and engage um, the front or a unit can, can, can come into the flank or into the rear and then 
um, I don't know, Reavers, I think, have a 5 plus uh, armor save. So into the flank, it's a 4 up, uh, it's a 6 up, and um, um, from the rear, they get no armor at all. And then again, there is like abilities like those, they have precision um, that ignores. That's like every 6 is a mortal wound. And I don't know, I think the Reavers shift back or get back and um, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a dance. It's a mortal dance, um, which I don't fully understand yet. And as you can see there, there, there are markers like a tree like this um, inspires, gives, gives a bit more to the morale here. I think um, this takes away from the morale. It's, it's um, yeah, corpses. And here it's um, a swamp. Here's a palisade, you cannot pass that, you have to destroy it before you can claim the mission and the objective. It looks really flat, but it is tons of fun. Um, these guys are also really cool, don't know, really know what they do. Um, yeah, great joy, always, always trying to attack and it's, and it's a dance. And let us see what happens. Yeah, I think what's happening here, the, the, they they both ha hesitated for a long time um, because nobody wanted to be hit first or hit first. And what then um, the Martel player, Stefan, um, did was claiming the objective to put pressure on the Greyjoy guy, um, on Alex. And so he claimed here the objective, he claimed it here and nobody's claiming it in the middle because you i think you have to first destroy these um palisades and so um alex also tries to claim an objective here but as you can see this sand dunes are now claiming um stefan or the martel player has now three objectives and so it's putting pressure on the great joy uh, player to to do something to be maybe a bit more aggressive um, but as you can see also the sand dunes um, shift now back because these reavers are full on the next charge i think they would charge and just destroy them um, what's happening here how, how did they lose yeah as you can see um, martel player uh, stefan uh, claimed this um, objective marker and what alex is now doing um, I think he's playing Littlefinger, I think. Um, he's putting Littlefinger on the swords, which means one unit could fight for free. But he's not using this. He's using, as you can see, um, this one, this tower. And um, I think in 6 inches or 12 inches you can shoot an enemy unit from here. And he shoots at them and takes a lot of wounds. I think after this you have to, to make a morale check and three more guys, I think, run. So the Martel player really hurt here. Um, as you can see, uh, after every activation you can put some banners down or a token. And now the Greyjoy player, Greyjoy player I think, in a better position. Um, although the Martel player is scoring um but yeah what's happening here i think um these guys walked up got shot or maybe they got shot first and then walked up uh maybe i haven't made that picture but they run in and charge and i'm sure they will hit like a truck um and that's that's always a great thing like um you have always cards in your hand and you can play them uh, before or sometimes like there, there's a keyword and um, this one is rising temperatures and it's uh, when an enemy unit uh, is activated and so the Martel player puts this on these guys and what, what does this say? So in the second turn, uh, from the second turn on, um, this unit cannot be like it's a debuff that stays on these guys um, and on the second turn or from the second turn you cannot put you play cards on them um, from the third turn these uh, hit um, I think um, one worse and from the fourth turn on um, I don't know I think they will just attack with the front rank so uh, a lot of debuffs stacking 
But what they do is they charge in, they don't care, they slaughter their team and they heal up completely. So because they're fully buffed with their own um, stuff. And so from here on, um, sure, Martel has more points, has a few more units. And I think um, like both know the lists and um, the Martel player said it's not the ideal list to play th this scenario. So when you go to a tournament or you play with friends, um, sometimes you have one or two lists. And um, depending on the scenario, you can uh, choose which list you're going to play. So it's like having a sideboard in Magic the Gathering. And um, the Reavers take, I think, damage from... Um, I, I think the Martel player puts Ilaria Sand right here, takes a bunch of shots, uh, bow shots from here. And yeah, that's just a game. So... The Iron Makers get charged into the flank. What's going to happen? Um, yeah, what's going to happen? Let's see. Yeah, they lose four guys. And maybe then they retreat. Um, some cavalry have the ability to charge in and then to retreat. But yeah, I'm, I'm just a noob uh, learning the game. What happens right here? Um, the reverse again charging here again, putting uh, dune tactics on them. Um, again, debuffing them. I will tell you what these cards mean as soon as I learned. But if you're going into the game, like um, learning your own cards, learning your units, learning the enemy cards. And there are not too many. There's like seven signature cards and they double. Then you have like 14 cards and then sometimes you get um, a few more cards from the commander. But but I think it's not super complicated. It's And, and also the keywords, um, as you can see here, uh, Favunpa, here it's vulnerable. Um, like there's always the same keywords repeating, so it's not super much. It's like magic the gathering, you got lifelink, um, or you got, you know what I mean. Um, and from here on, um, it looks like uh, like the Martel player healed up here. No, it didn't. Um, it's kind of losing the game. So now uh, the Great Joy player is um, just healing too much and... Um, winning this war of attrition. Also, I don't know, I think the drowned ones also can heal um, them. And yeah, fights left and right. And unpainted minis, but beautifully sculpted. Like these minis are really, really cool. Um, and the final battles of the game. And yeah, if you like A Song of Ice and Fire, and if you like tabletop minis, and if you like to see um, a game that is uh, simple, let's say easy, easy, easy to learn but hard to master um, or deep to master, then this might be a game for you. Um, yeah, the Martel player, not much um, possibilities left. I don't know what I'm. Ah, it's the turn five. As you can see here, it's also your turn. It's turn five. And I think there's not so much going on here. Reckless strikes. So um, this attack gains critical blow. I don't know what's critical blow. Uh, and precision. Precision is like a mortal on a six. And critical blow, I think it doubles, like, like sustained hits. Uh, the attacker suffers one wound for each attack. Uh, die, roll of one. That's cool. So he rides in with his horses and on the attack die for each one he um, suffers a wound, he himself. But yeah, it's a reckless, reckless strikes. Um, Gerald, Dane, Darkstar. I think this one is then who's leading the army. And so he deletes these Ironborns, heals a bit up. But yeah, I think the Martel player is losing too many units and the Greyjoy is just healing all of the time, marching forward and yeah, 
it's pretty close, but also not. And yeah, I don't know. Like I'm just learning the game. Um, and then it's turn six. And as you can see, the Martel player has not much going on. Both are discussing what's going to happen or what would have happened. And they fight one last fight. And then they shake hands and the great joys win. And these guys are the winner for today. See ya in the next video.